Hello, and welcome to Built and Deployed, a video series for cloud architects. My name is Harrison DeVore, and I'm a cloud architect with Oracle. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Kurt Roloff, the co-founder and CTO of Duality Technologies. We're here to talk about how Kurt and the Duality team encrypts, anonymizes, and analyzes privacy-protected data for its clients using API services, bare metal servers, and virtual machines on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So we can see that you're using bare metal machines with a lot of compute cores and RAM. Why did you decide to go with bare metal in this case, specifically the Intel optimized ice lake shape? That's a great question. Um, one of the nice features of the computation that we support uh, through homomorphic encryption, it's a highly vectorized style computation. Uh, the underlying compute primitive looks a lot like manipulations of lists of integers. Uh, this means that if we have local hardware that is optimized for vectorized processing and makes our computation, our solution more efficient, um, thus offering more value to our customers. Uh, the latest third gen Xeon processors, codenamed Ice Lake, are, have advanced uh, vectorized destruction sets, also called AVX, uh, that supports the kinds of computations that accelerate our core encryption products and, and privacy tools, otherwise known as duality secure plus products. From the architecture, we can see that you have an API service with two VMs connecting to it. Can you tell us a little bit more about those two VMs as well as the role of the API service for your application? Uh, we provide a highly modular solution that allows a mixture of both on-prem and cloud-based integrations. Uh, thus allowing the um, OCI customers to collaborate as easily as possible with uh, folks that have not yet moved to OCI. Uh, that being said, because encryption is, um, encryption basically is used to protect highly sensitive data, uh, we also allow the ability for data collaborators to encrypt on their local environment, whether it's within OCI or on-prem, and then only share the encrypted data, uh, thus providing additional defense and depth uh, through the OCI environment. And what have been the results to date from your Ice Lake benchmarks? So we have been looking at benchmarks for uh, data science workloads uh, being used in production with uh, several, several large uh, financial institutes where we're looking at roughly 3x performance improvement overall uh, for real world workloads that we are deploying currently. Um, in industry. One last question for you, Kurt. What's in the works for future deployments on OCI? You know, as we go to move to more classic machine learning workloads, uh, we're very interested in the HPC environments, high performance compute environments uh, as enabled by OCI. Um, we're also dealing with a lot of environments that have, um, and moving into, into applications that have the need for uh, more formal key management type frameworks. Um, as driven by industry standards. And so moving into the, the cryptographic, cryptographic key management frameworks as exposed to OCI, and particularly the um, even geographic distribution of data storage uh, for things like disaster recovery, things like that as enabled by OCI are all things that we're very interested in offering to our customers over the near horizon. Great, thank you so much, Kurt, for taking the time to meet with me today. And this has been Built and Deployed. Stay tuned for more technical conversations with OCI customers.